What's going on guys, it's Kai Darts again, back with another Fluent Power Trip quick tip. And today we're going to be going over two different modifiers, which are kind of similar, but they do totally different things. And one being the slice tool, another being the cut and add tool. Now let's use the cut tool really quick. So we have two identical boxes here, default cubes. So uh, let's hit F to bring up the Fluent menu and let's use slice first. So if you choose slice, quickly to the left you'll see we have this menu here that says shape and it says rectangle which is R so if you hit R on the keyboard it's the default selection which is a rectangular cutout. If you hit C on the keyboard it'll let you choose a circular cutout and if you choose S what is shape? Now that's one of the reasons I wanted to touch on this because a lot of people didn't really understand how to use this. So if we hit if we right click we'll bring up the grid and we have the grid options but I'm going to not choose the grid so it's a little bit clearer to see what I'm doing. So if I hit S on the keyboard, now I can start using the shape tool. So if I click once, if I left click once on the model, I can start using this tool. And if I click a second time, notice I can choose wherever I want on this model to make the next, the next cut or slice. But if I hold control on the keyboard while selecting, you see it's an incremental movement. And what that is doing is snapping to each point on the grid that you cannot see because I didn't choose to display the grid. But you can get some real um, dynamic shapes with this. Now to get this to work, once you're complete with the shape that you want to cut out, right click. And then we can just uh, middle mouse press to rotate around. And if we move our mouse to the left, we'll start intruding or extruding inwards. If we move to the right, we'll extrude outwards. So let's go inwards so I can show you the difference between these two. So once you're satisfied, right click to get out of this. And quickly you see we now split this into two separate bodies, two different objects. Now that's what the slice tool does. It separates any cut that you make into different pieces. Now, if you were to use the cut and add, so we F to bring up the floor menu. Let's go to cut and add. All this does is a Boolean. So we can have, we have the same options that we had before, but now we're just going to see what's the difference. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to bring it inwards as well. And I'm going to right click to get out of this and confirm this. You see what I did now? So this is still one model versus this one being a separator. Hopefully this, I didn't confuse you guys too much in this tutorial. And if I did, please leave a comment and let me know where you're stuck. And if you guys like this and enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and consider giving it a subscribe.